Hello everybody, it has been about two months since I left and I drove a total of 13,000 miles and I am at the border of Colorado and Utah and outside looks... Uh, okay, uh, I'm just here for a couple of days until I can get my Amazon order to the hotel so I can fix the, um, the stuff that is not working for my charging system. I don't know if you guys want the update, but every road trip, I try to find something new to do. So this road trip, I met with my friends, gave them a tour around the West Coast. Hey there, boy. Come here, boy. You get any one step closer, I'll blow your goddamn brains out, boy. I told you, get the hell on my property, goddammit. Stopped by a couple hot springs. Um, I, myself, caught some crabs. caught some uh, mussels and cooked and eat it. Um, I did some hiking too. Um, I don't really hike too much. Uh, I mainly just go off-roading, but this is my different car. So this time I tried some hiking. I went to Angel's Landing, a um, couple of some really nice hiking spots in Utah. And it wasn't too bad. Um, I can definitely say that I'm struggling in most of part, but um, I guess I'm going through all right. So with my $10 charging system, within this whole road trip period, I think I charged my EcoFlow Delta 2 Max about 20 cycles. And so far, I don't really have too many problems, except for this one part, and I will show you what happened. Oh look, I had a cave permit so I can explore a cave um, up in California. And that was also a very nice experience. That cave didn't have any lights or no pathway. I had to just, you know, uh, get my flashlight and just find my way through it. If you guys see my other videos, you guys can tell that I have my majority of uh, charging system right here. I got my fuse and I got my relay. This relay connects to the switch inside my cab so I can just turn it on whenever I want. And this relay was the, my failing point. This is 200 amp relay. My battery only takes about 30 amps to charge, but I purposely oversized the relay because when a relay is activated, it produces heat. And a lot of reviews I read about on different relays, um, a lot of them do go bad because of the heat. So by oversizing the relay, it kind of, you know, make a safe barrier um, from maybe producing too much heat because I'm guessing a lot of things inside is much thicker compared to maybe like 60 amp relay. So maybe that was my thought when I was purchasing this relay. But the relay still failed and the heat wasn't a problem because I did check uh, the, the temperature of the relay many times throughout my road trip, but it wasn't even getting hot. Like it was cold most of the times. And maybe that was the problem because when I was up in north of California, when it went down to like about 10 degrees Fahrenheit, um, a lot of things like still worked, but not worked. For example, when I turn on my switch, it activated the relay and start charging my battery, but when I turn off the switch, that's when it didn't get disconnected. Um, I almost ran out of my main battery because of the issue, but luckily that time I was checking my phone and then the app, how much it was getting charged, and I saw that my battery was still getting charged when even though I even though I turned the switch off. So what I did was got out of my car, opened the hood, and start tapping on the relay to get it disconnected. Every day, that's my to-do list, open my hood so I can turn off the relay manually by tapping. But sometimes like when you're off-roading, when people see me opening my hood, people always ask me if I need help, but most of the times I don't. But yeah. <laughs> Even though I ordered the same relay, um, it also comes in package of two. I'm just hoping that the one that I'm using right now is uh, from the bad batch. So hopefully the new relay will permanently fix the problem. But throughout my road trip from now on, it's not going to get any warmer. It's going to get even colder from now. So if that doesn't work, I'm going to actually thinking about changing to the Bosch, maybe like 60 amp relay. But so far, uh, my charging system works great. Um, I will, and I do want to recommend this way of charging to everybody. After EcoFlow released their alternator charger, I believe the Anchor also released the alternator charger, but they're basically all the same thing. Um, basically the same setup that i have except for they have a computer in the middle to kind of communicate with the battery pack but if 
that's it is not the issue. I think this is still the best. And also a lot of people actually do mention to me, why not just install like an automatic relay? Why do I want to have the 12 volt like a switch relay? But I don't really like the automatic relay. I feel like I don't really have the control of when to charge my battery or when to use the power. Um, even though some of them have the bypass, uh, even and when I read those RR documentations, it doesn't really say like how long I can bypass for. It does say like eight second bypass or something. So um, if you guys have any um, automatic relays, I can just bypass for longer periods of time. Um, please let me know. That will also help too. So thank you. And a lot of people do mention that my car is making a lot of ticking noise and I do know that it really bothers me a lot too. I have taken to the dealer, pay them 600 bucks. Uh, maybe it was a waste of money to look through the engine and they told me it was no problem. Uh, they told me some pitting is not anything of a valve issues. Uh, they told me it's okay to drive. I look up on the forums and they say all the Tacomas or especially with the 3.4 engine makes this noise, but mine seems a little bit louder than others. But I'm just driving around. Um, so far, so good. Um, I've been through about 20,000 miles since I purchased this car. So hopefully nothing goes wrong middle of nowhere. <laughs> that is it for the video um most of the people who subscribe to my channel or watch my video are here because of my charging system of ecoflow but i want to talk more about other stuff too so if you guys are more interested um just please comment down below and i really hope that you guys subscribe to my channel and like this video thank you